Okay, hello and welcome to today's video. So today, I'm going to be theorising about where the big law in Gerudo Town actually comes from, okay? So, credit for the idea for this theory goes to QT Fluff AJ. hoping I said that right, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, so basically, in Breath of the Wild, Drudo Town has one main law, which is that no vow are allowed, vow being the Drudo for men. But why is this? It's a very odd law, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't really make sense at all as a law because it limits everything that could happen in the city greatly. I mean, one possible answer could be because the Drudo are only women, apart from occasional male, like every, is it a hundred or thousand years or something like that? I don't know. But it doesn't really make much sense because it just stops it from, the town from functioning well, like prevents trade, just prevents all sorts really. So, as QT Fluff AJ, still hoping I said that right, suggested, it may be because Ganon was Ganondorf before he became Ganon, as in the beast monster, and Ganondorf was ultimately a Drudo male and the leader of the Drudo. However, his actions led to the downfall of Hyrule and them, and somehow they have survived it in Breath of the Wild. Don't know how, that's probably another theory or something, but they have. So obviously, being clever enough, they've realised, oh, he's the reason this happened. So, let's stop men from being allowed in our town, and then maybe it won't. <laughs> it's just, that could make sense, because, I mean, Link as well. He is male, yet when, um, Riju, the leader finds out, she lets him stay, knowing he's a champion, and therefore he is to be trusted because a champion isn't evil. However, maybe they don't trust other men because of Ganondorf and what he did. I mean, of course this is all only a theory, but it may be true. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think. Like if you like this video and subscribe for more content. 